A visit today from the country's top crime fighter, new U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch was in East Haven today. And she met with local police and community leaders talking about police relations, excessive force, and how to mend the community shaken by claims of racial discrimination. News Ace Newell Gardner has that. It has been more than two years since the town of East Haven signed a consent agreement with the Justice Department to make changes within the police department. Today, U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch joined a roundtable discussion with the police chief and community members as part of her national community policing tour. We thought it was helpful also to focus on East Haven because you're not yet finished with your consent decree. And yet, the monitor has noticed tremendous, tremendous progress. The agreement is designed to ensure that the police department upholds constitutional protections against unlawful discrimination and unreasonable searches and seizures. The East Haven Police Department took national spotlight after a federal investigation revealed a pattern of racial discrimination against Latinos. Here, we had to come in and deal with a very, very difficult situation that required actually a prosecution of certain officers. But at the same time, we clearly had other officers who were supportive of the department's work and goals, um, who not only provided information, but have gone on to say to themselves and to, to the entire police department, from the chief on down, that they want a different culture. Elio Cruz says a lot of his friends in East Haven were victims of police discrimination. And some of my friends, they were one, four of them, two of them were beaten up on the police uh, department and things like that. Community members say East Haven has come a long way. People are, are, are not scared to live in, in, in East Haven, they're not scared to travel here, they're not scared to do business here. We are not done with what we started. Uh, we are probably three quarters of way where I would like to be. They're outside of the cars. They're walking around more. Part of their job is to interact with and learn who the residents of East Haven are. The East Haven PD is made up of 53 officers, which is an average size for a police department. So when you see the anomalies that happen in other major cities, quite different from what we have here. We are the average police department. And if we can do it, everybody can do it. Next, the East Haven mayor and police chief will head to Washington, D.C. to be part of a community policing forum. Reporting in East Haven, Noel Gardner, News 8.